Right, so it's time to plan my studio workspace workshop thing, my place of dwelling. Uh, and I have decided to work with SketchUp because SketchUp is a really good tool for for planning things out like I am going to do now. I started on pen and paper uh, and I even cut some of the some of my uh, furniture out of uh, paper so I could move them around but in the end it's always nice to have a 3D model. So on making worker space or workshops I've looked at a lot of YouTube videos. One of the people I'm, I followed is Jay Bates uh, because once for for one thing he's made a really nice workshop with it's for woodworking but his miter station and stuff like that it's gorgeous work and it would except for all the big woodworking tools he has it would work as a very good platform for a maker space or a workshop studio for a maker like myself so therefore I've looked at a lot of stuff he's done and also uh, he opened my eyes again for SketchUp. I used SketchUp a lot a couple of years ago um, but for some reason I stopped using it and uh, but now for this project I realize I need to start working with SketchUp again. So that is what we are going to do today. So uh, because Jay also works with SketchUp and he also likes it when it is cheap and or free on his website he has a special uh, place called for SketchUp where you can download the version you wish uh, a, a SketchUp version 8 which is a really old version but which works really good to work with and is free. The newer versions is a bit hazy on what costs and what you can do and stuff like that. So I use SketchUp 8 uh, as it's a perfectly fine software to work with. And he also has some commands here. I will go through some of the ones I use uh, that of course he also uses we anyone working with SketchUp uses the most of the basic tools so it's the normal next next agree to license agreement next next install so we are done here and we close that and we Start up SketchUp. So they want us to up to go to SketchUp 2016, but we are going to stay in SketchUp 8. And I like to work in millimeters or meters because I am European and everyone can choose their preferred space remind me later so here we are and we are going to go straight into uh, how to move around so with the scroll wheel on your mouse you can zoom in and out or you can press Z and click and drag to to zoom in and out that's good to know uh, so I'm going to go with keyboard commands only you have all the com you have all the commands let's see let's have it all in picture here you 
you do have all the commands here so I am, I've chosen zoom now uh, but and all the commands are here but using the key commands is much faster and it's better to learn that from the beginning so the second really good thing to work with is the orbit this one here you press O on the keyboard and you get orbit so you left click and you can move around so we zoom out a bit and we can make a full 360 turn around this person so zoom Z orbit O and then pan which is H so panning is this it is just dragging the whole work area around these are the three really important moving around uh, tools that you need so with that said we now go to a the first tools for drawing so here is where where SketchUp really excels in how easy it is to draw something we have the forms over here free freehand pencil or line actually we have the uh, rectangle circle and arc these are the four drawing uh, tools that we are mostly to use so we're going to start with the rectangle which is R on the keyboard and we just start to draw it and we're going to draw it in this direction so I'm just letting go here and here you see the dimensions 2000 by 5000 millimeters and I am now going to just I'm not going to push here I'm not going to do anything I've just dragged this and let it go and now I am adding my my dimensions for my workshop and the short end is 3300 millimeters semicolon 5700 so 5.7 meters by 3.3 meters so I do that and I press enter there this is our workspace so yeah this is the work area we have to work with what I'm going to do now I am going to use the offset uh, command with this command I can offset this the distance I'm going to make this 100 like that 100 millimeter no I'm going to make it 200 millimeters like that so this is just to a wall so 20 20 centimeter wall I think it's about right it doesn't really matter I'm not going to use it as such. So this was the offset tool uh, and you can get this by pressing F. I did press it here but you can also get it by pressing F. It's good for when you want to make walls uh, in spaces like this. A very good command that we are going to use a lot now is push pull this one. So you press P on the keyboard we get push pull and you, as soon as you are in a on a surface that is uh, closed you can push and pull push and pull this surface so we pull this up and my room is 2300 millimeters 2.3 meters like that and o orbit we actually have our room here this is our room or my room <laughs> um, however there are doors and stuff like that so we are going to add those we're just going to pan around here so spacebar for 
uh, is the what you use if you want to select something. So spacebar, and then you just select something, and we can hide this. So we, we hide the person for a while. So for getting in, there is a door here, and there is 10 centimeters from the wall. The door begins, so we need to measure 10 centimeters. And there's a tool called tape measure. You have it here, or you have it on T. T for tape measure. You pull it out, you write 100, and there you got a point. Now we do R for rectangle. From that point we pull up. The door is 200 or 2002 meters and it is uh, 90 so 900 millimeters wide there there's the door we want to make this a door so we don't want to have this surface here we do push pull we just so P and we just push it all the way through and there is now a opening here So we made our first door. There's another door right here. So R, actually T for tape measure, 120 centimeters in from the wall. There, R for rectangle. We pull it up. We write 2,000 because it is also two meters tall. It is however only 88 uh, centimeters wide there P for push pull push gone there's another door and we have one more door O for orbit to move around H to pan a bit O to move in like that zoom in H And that is all the way down to the wall R for rectangle and it is 2087 centimeters or, or 870 millimeters P for push pull and there and then over on this side finally we have a window So it goes from the wall, so T, T for tape measure, and it is 43 centimeters or 430 millimeters out, and it is 1.47 from the floor, and the floor is 2.3 down. So we measure all the way down and then we measure up again, 1470. So there. So there we have our intersection. R for rectangle. And pull it out and we write. So it's 148 centimeters long. And then it's all the way up to the roof. So I just write uh, 1480 and then I just. Uh, no, I don't do that. Well, we can do that. I just put another. Another rectangle on top. That's good enough. P for push pull. Remove that one and remove that one and space to select so we select this line and we can remove that orbit around space to select and delete that line there so our window is out of the way as well and with this we have 
created very quickly my whole workshop space which we now can use to plan out uh, what to build and um, how to organize the place so in the next in the next uh, video with SketchUp I'm going to show you how to add uh, boards uh, OSB boards and the framework behind it and we're going to work with some new techniques for that so hope you learned something and that you can also start to use if you don't already use SketchUp in your maker uh, life so until next time take care bye